Hello! In this video I will be making super bright 100 watts LED flashlight and PVC pipe housing. The main part of this build is 100 watts 8000 of lumens LED cob chip bought from eBay. This one is really powerful and super bright, but at the same time it generates a lot of heat. To ensure proper cooling I'll use my old CPU cooler. I bought the center of heatsink and marked fixing points. Drill it for holes and use a tab to make the thread for screws. For better light concentration, I'll use specifically for this LED chip made reflector a lens and a lens holder. Once again, through the holes, made the threads. For fixing was used this kind of extended bolts. Apply thermal grease before final assembly. All flashlight components will be fitted in this 110 mm of diameter PVC pipe. Because heatsink is a little bit too small for this pipe, using epoxy I glued small plastic pieces to get tight fit. Now we have zero play. From 12 cm cooler grill I made a bracket to mount power supply for LED and cooler. In this way power supply will be cooled too by air circulation. Made two fixing points to attach a heatsink to PVC pipe. To make cooling more efficient, made few holes to blow out hot air. To prevent hot air intake again in the cooler, glue two small plastic pieces.
This is DC to DC 250 watts boost converter from eBay. It's able to boost up to 50 volts and 10 amps. This one has ability to limit voltage and current. Exactly that is needed for run LED safely by limiting current. Because I'll use my homemade 22.2 volts lithium battery pack to power up this flashlight, I use this DC to DC step down converter or buck converter to deliver to cooler fan 12 volts instead of 22. DIY battery pack video is in corner. Using zip ties, zip it power supplies at grill. Under a step down converter, added small transparent plastic sheet to prevent short circuit. Solder power wires to step down converter. Fully turned potentiometers counterclockwise to limit voltage as much as possible. Then turn the power on and by turning potentiometer clockwise set 12 volt output voltage which is needed for cooler fan. Now it's safe to solder fan wires. To measure how efficient this cooler is, with electric tape to attach thermometer sensor for temporary use. Also connect voltmeter and ammeter to adjust LED power source regarding LED specs. Before power it up, fully close both potentiometers that boost converter ain't boost voltage and current at all. This LED is designed to operate at 3 amps of current and about 32 volts. The most important thing to run LED safely is to limit current. By turning pots counterclockwise, I boosted voltage, but at the same time limited current at 3 amps. Any higher current at 3 amps will damage this LED chip. Upper potentiometer limits voltage, bottom one current. Soldered power wires to LED and boost converter. Fit it inside the pipe and turn it on for 10 minutes to find maximum operating temperature. It's about 38 degrees, so it's totally safe to use. Made two holes for power switches. One will turn and off flashlight, second one is push switch. When he will be pressed, a power meter display will be showed the state of battery charge. To fix battery pack inside, I made this bracket from plywood. Drill four holes and screw it with wood screws.
to monitor the state of battery, I'll use LiPo battery voltage tester with low voltage buzzer alarm. This one is very popular in RC world. He will show voltage of battery pack and all separate voltages of each cells connected in series. My battery have six cells groups connected in series. I made few modifications to get better fit inside the pipe. First, removed plastic cover, marked positive and negative terminals, the solder and solder buzzer the opposite board side. Made a hole to fit voltage meter. That's how it looks all stuff which will be mounted inside the pipe. Wired up it looks like this. Power switch will close circuit from battery to booster and LED will start up. At the same time, voltage meter is getting ground to negative terminal and starts operate too. When power switch is off with push button, I could check the state of battery voltage. This switch simply gives a ground to negative meter terminal. Alarm was set by clicking small push button at the top of voltage meter. I will set alarm at 3 volts. When one of 6 cells groups connected in series will reach this or lower voltage, buzzer will start beeping. That's the sign to charge battery pack. With hot glue fixed meter in place. Later on applied some epoxy glue for stronger join. To hold battery in place, from aluminum strip made this holder. To make it better looking, fit it inside shrinking tube and heat it with the heat gun. To cover up the back of flashlight, use a 12 cm fan grill. There was made few modifications to get final cover shape. Fixing points made from same PVC pipe leftovers by cut and glue it to get this type of holders. With super glue glued them in place. At local hardware store bought this cheap metal handle. With round pencil found weight center of flashlight. Shrink the heat shrink tube over the handle for smoother surface to touch. Plus black will look way better than cheap silver metal.
get more strength, make two aluminum brackets, distribute flashlight weight to wider surface. Soldered positive wire to booster. Connected balance wire extension to voltage meter. All negative wires will be controlled by power switch with four terminals. Mountain and connected battery pack. And it's perfectly balanced. Flashlight legs made from same PVC pipe cutoffs by heating and bending to right shape. Glue it in place with epoxy glue. Here are some numbers. Flashlight weight is 1.7 of kilograms. Dimensions 23 by 11 and by 15 of centimeters. And that's finished flashlight. I'm very happy how it turned out. Handle is comfortable, weight is great balanced, buttons is accessible. lights super bright. Camera isn't able to show how bright it is. If you like what you saw and want to see more, check my channel and other videos. Don't forget to subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.